Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you five simple craft ideas that you can do with your kids this Easter. So Easter is just a few weeks away and I wanted to share some um, simple craft ideas that you guys can do with your kids. These are things that we've made in the past and I thought they would be really fun to share with you today. The first idea is making palm branches. These are just simple craft craft paper leaves that we cut out and did a little fringe on the side, which is great for if you have preschoolers, they can practice cutting. And then we just um, taped it to some popsicle sticks that we had around. And then I also made one that had my daughter's handprints on it that made it kind of look like, um, kind of like leaves. And it also is kind of a fun keepsake to see how small her hands were. They're not this small anymore. Um, but these are really great to make leading up to Palm Sunday. And um, we even just have fun just pretending and acting out Jesus coming into Jerusalem. And so we'll put on some fun music and we'll um, just lay out some blankets on the floor or some coats on the floor. And the kids will run around with these palm branches shouting Hosanna, you know, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Um, Hosanna on the highest and things like that. So these are really fun and simple to make. The next idea is to make your child's handprint and then decorate it like a lamb. And um, the Bible talks about how Jesus was the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And you're just gonna need some craft paper, some black craft paper here to trace your child's hand, and then some cotton balls. And I used a googly eye, but you don't have to buy googly eyes. You could just draw an eye if you want to. And then here I put John 1 9 behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So this project was really quick and simple. The next idea is to make this um, stained glass cross. You could do this by using um, the lamination paper if you've ever seen like rolls of that at the store. Um, you just cut out two sheets of that and then you use some black construction paper to cut out the silhouette of the cross. And then you're going to take little squares of tissue paper and cut them up you're going to place the black cross down on the laminating paper and then your child can take the squares of tissue paper and fill in all this blank space. And then you will come back with a second sheet of laminating paper and just seal it all in and cut around it. And you can hang these on your windows and just talk about, you know, what Jesus did on the cross for us. And it's really beautiful and a fun Easter decoration. The next idea I have is to create your own paper plate tomb. And so this is a thicker paper plate. It's more like a heavy duty, hefty plate or whatever. But my daughter just painted it with some gray black paint to kind of make it look like a stone. And you can see it's kind of black and gray there. And then we just cut the opening here to symbolize the stone that they rolled in front of the opening of the tomb. And then we even like to put this on our table as a centerpiece. And what I like to do is I go ahead and I borrow one of our Duplo characters. So I have this little, this little Duplo guy that we're borrowing to be our pretend Jesus. And we wrap it up in cloth. And on um, the night before Easter, we go ahead and we tuck the Duplo Jesus into the tomb and we roll a stone in front of the tomb and then we even have some little guards that we've collected. <laughs> we put some guards in front of the tomb to guard the tomb and then when the kids wake up in the morning they'll see that the the guards are gone you know the stone has been rolled away and Jesus is alive and all that's left behind are the cloths that were wrapped around Jesus's body and so it's a really fun craft and our kids look forward to seeing on Easter morning that Jesus is alive. This last idea is a little bit more in, involved for the parent, but these are resurrection eggs. If you've ever seen, you can buy like real resurrection eggs from your Christian bookstore or online. If I find some, I'll link a link down below if you want to purchase your own set of real resurrection eggs. This is a version that I just DIY'd myself. So basically what you need is a recycled egg container, some plastic eggs, and um, printer paper, and some self-laminating paper. So inside of each egg is a different piece of paper. So like this one is number two, and it has a picture of the donkey, and symbolizing the donkey that Jesus rode into um, Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And then let's see, egg number 11 has a little... Um, 
picture that is blank because it's symbolizing that the tomb was empty. And so each different egg tells a different part of the Easter story. And then I just simply wrote down um, what goes with each egg. So there's a little explanation followed by a scripture passage that you can read with every egg. And so as a family, you, you can do one or two eggs a day leading up to Easter. And then, you know, on Easter morning, you can hide all the eggs and then find them all and let the kids retell the story, um, the Easter story to you that they've been learning um, in the weeks leading up to Easter. Well, I hope that you enjoyed these craft ideas. They are really easy and fun to do with your kids. And I'd love to hear your ideas if you have some ideas for fun Easter crafts. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.